Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one and only Rebar Show with your host, with the most JP Fingers. Cluck, cluck, fing, fing. It's the one and only JP Fingers here, and we are live for an episode of the one and only Rebar. JP Fingers here, joined by Not Wiseman Pipes, missing, always renovating. We are joined by a special guest, guest Zaza. I like to call them the Cigar Noise Boys. We're going to start off with Dom, and we're going to go to Tyler, a.k.a. we got Cigar Analogies, and we got the Retro Hail. What is going on, boys? Same old, same old. Sheltering in place, rocking and rolling. That's it. That's first, it. Day, first day back from my 18-day extended stay in Esteli, Nicaragua. I'm ready to go back. <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt. How is that, watching the world transform? And, uh what it is now it's just it was fucking nuts man because you're like oh there's no way they're gonna cancel basketball okay they're gonna play an empty arena okay it's canceled okay and it's like what the fuck and then you're wondering if your flight's gonna get canceled you know um i made it out just in time i think so did you grab tp no dude are you dude tp's gone down there now too and i was bringing back a plenty plenty of cigars so i didn't want to (laughs) <laughs> I had no room. I mean, worst case scenario, you could wipe your ass with a couple of Gurkhas or Rocky Battelles. No comment. Oh, come Shut on. All right, all right. Uh, we're going to do the no comment game. We got to clear things up first. All right. On this show, we're going to say a lot of stupid stuff, some stuff you might agree with, some stuff you might disagree with, stuff you might like, stuff you might not like. All right. Whatever we say and comes out of our mouths does not reflect any of our sponsors on this show. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Capiche. Done. Now we can say anything we want. We have free range now. The one and only Rebar oh. Show is brought to you by United Cigars. When you're looking to live United and smoke United, you got to go to your local retailer. Wait a minute. Don't go to your local retailer. you got to hit up unitedcigargroup.com. There's a list of all the online places that will get you United Cigars to your doorstep. My friends, you got to live United. you got to smoke United. Just do it now. It'll make your life a lot simpler. Live United, smoke United. Bang, bang. Do it. All right. Guys, now it's free range. Now we have zero. There's no law here, man. Dude, that's my favorite type of eggs, free range. I mean, favorite type of eggs, favorite type of gangbang. There you go. Tyler's just slamming energy drinks. Bro, it's been a while since I had one. I thought you had the uh, port. No, that's not. I don't drink that shit. (laughs) He's got that in, though. It looks good. I did drink a little Florida Kanye when I was down in Esteli, but that was it. That's only because you were with Skip. Is that when you were uh, yeah. commenting on Schmokini's account? That was probably it. Uh, dude, um, Skip has this uh, bottle of 30-year Florida Kanye that is, um, I think it retails for like 1500 bucks. It's stupid. I think he, I know, uh, he got it in a, um auction for, I believe, 800 And uh, I uh, accords um, Nick R. Agua to come over to Skip's house. And Skip offered him the bottle. And then so Nick poured himself probably a hundred hours worth of that uh that rum and he said it was damn good. My goodness. Yeah. Yo, I'm uh, I'm drink drinking rum right now. Hey, 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 uh... We can't get in that yet. All right, guys, it's time. <laughs> okay. It's guys, you gotta re- you gotta realize everything you could put a price tag on everything. Believe me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for what we're drinking, what we're smoking, and that is brought to you by Luxury Cigar Club. You don't want to waste your all these. You don't want to waste your time with all these other cigar clubs, these monthly cigar clubs. Fuck a waste of time. Trust me. When you want a monthly cigar club, cigar club subscription, you got to hit up luxurycigarclub.com. Hit them up. Use promo code Rebar. Don't waste your time with these cigar club subscriptions. Boom. All right. What are we smoking? What are we drinking? Tyler, you go first, and we'll rotate clockwise. Um, I am smoking something from Jeremy Jack. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Salchichas or something. 
Fuck, you were uh, the one in the Spanish country for fucking 18 days. I know, bro. I don't. Hola. I don't. Hey, Hola. I don't <laughs> Hola. Uh, me gusto. Anyways, um, it's it's good, man. It's made by uh, Aganorsa. Um, and it's uh, I've never tried one. I got it from one of the sponsors. Um, which we'll get into that later. Um, it's good. It's nice. It's very nice. It's a bigger ring gauge, but I like it. And then I'm pairing it with a Monster Rehab. It's got tea and lemonade and energy. Rehab is what Dom's going to be in after this quarantine. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree with that. I need a new liver. I, I'll be running that place. <laughs> and uh, I'm smoking Sereno Maduro XX. Drinking some Diplomatico rum, but I'm just about done. Uh, when I finish these two, I'm moving on to an Atta Bay. Oh, shit. Oh, Mr. shit. Coast. And uh, got some Riptide as Rip, well. Riptide. What the fuck Riptide is Riptide? That's got to be rum. Uh, it's rye. Really? 118 proof. You call it rye. Oh, rye is the middle of Canada. I don't know why they call rye a Riptide when it's the complete opposite coast of Canada. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't Bizarre. make much sense. Bizarre. All right. I am smoking. Fuck. Uh, I just lit it up. Sombra. Som fuck. Sombra Mesa. Sombra Mesa. Sombra Mesa. Sombra Mesa. There's no M at the beginning. <laughs> well, there is. It just depends who's saying it. <laughs> uh, Sombra Mesa. Incompromiso. Is that right? No. Sin compromiso. Sin compromiso. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I say it wrong. It's not a sponsor. Are you smoking two <laughs> cigars at once? Because those are two different cigars, bro. Maybe I am. There's a Sin Compromiso, and then there's a Sober Mesa, and then there's a Sober Mesa Brulee. See, that's the first thing wrong with this cigar line. Okay, too many Tyler. Hey. Well, hey. Are you still in the cigar factories now? No. No, then relax. <laughs> Calm down there. Yeah. Relax. If I was to come in your if I was to come into your cigar shop, you'd sell me all of them. So don't tell me the difference between them because you'd sell me all of them. I would. Yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna want all those. You're gonna need to buy four of them because of how you just said it. Bang bang. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, all right. And I am drinking the Eagle Rare, and I am actually working on a bottle kill today. Uh oh. Of Eagle Rare. Game on, Dom. Or Mr. Dom. I can't do a bottle kill anymore. <laughs> I did I did uh power hour last night. Yo, power hour is more aggressive than bottle kill. You think so? Oh, 100 percent You know how much I could drink in an hour is about the same as what I could drink in a day. Well, no, po power hour like with beer. You get a light oh, beer, beer. Okay. you get like Modelo and Corona, and you take a sip or a gulp every minute. Uh, and the goal is you finish your beer every 10 minutes. So after an hour, you've drank six beers. Yeah, it's like the Century Sam Club. But, yeah, less. I mean, same shit, different coast, I guess. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's start moving into things. This is strong. What are you I – sorry, I forgot what you told me you are smoking. Uh, something from Jeremy Jack. It's smoky. Smoky. <laughs> make it bands make her dance all right all right how are you guys well i mean i can't really ask tyler because it doesn't really apply to tyler about this how whole about this how quarantine thing has taken into place tyler literally just got back today but dom what have you what are your thoughts on uh you know what have you been doing this past week i've been <laughs> making cigar views again um tyler potato hands off your face yeah for oh, real i forgot <laughs> My goodness. Uh, cooking potatoes, watching YouTube videos. I'm about to, my uh, housemate. YouTube videos just, on what? On, <laughs> on uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Because my uh, housemate just downloaded it. After this episode, I'm about to go play for like 10 hours. <laughs> Nerd. Just bunk. I thought you were going to say watching YouTube videos on how to make a girl squirt. Oh, my Lord. No, no, no. None of that. No, 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 no. Oh, right. cooking videos though. I've been watching plenty of cooking videos like you know, Bon Appetit. That, that's actually huge, man. That's actually huge right now, right? You figure the amount of people eating at home. Yeah. Well, I mean, the videos you watch on YouTube though, they're using a bunch of ingredients you can't find <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> like toilet paper? 
Yeah, that's uh, crucial. <laughs> Toilet paper uh, and hand sanitizer recipe. Check out um, press, press, press your luck. It's a pressure cooker um, uh, cook show. I bought one for like 250 bucks. I haven't used it once. Still in the box. Yo, the Ninja is the best move in my entire life. Got one of those. The Ninja is solid, man. I'm afraid it's going to blow up on me, though, because there's like a press pressure release. I got to figure it out first. Only, it'll only blow up if you put gunpowder and ball bearings in it. <laughs> yeah, the new ones don't explode like the old ones did as long as you let all the pressure out before you open it. Yeah, I'm fucking stoked, man. <laughs> He's like, I'll probably use this thing in two or three years from now. I know. I can't wait. You can sell, no, it. I mean, I sell it now. Sell for telepaper. paper. You're going to need it. Barter. Mm-hmm. No. That much, first of all. So, Tyler, how long is your cigar shop open for after this? Um, man, we're playing it by ear. We're limiting the people in here. I just put away all the cutters so people aren't spreading shit, you know, and uh, um, we're limiting the people who come in and we're sanitizing all the shit. And uh, um, hopefully we can stay open. You know, we got a patio, so hopefully it starts getting a little warmer out so we can... Uh, have people smoke on the patio, but it's uh we're playing it by ear, man. It's fucking nuts. You're not doing any deliveries? Not yet, no. I mean we don't have the manpower for that. I mean I would do it, but I got I got a full time job um outside of this, so I would definitely do it. Hey, give me some tips, man. All right. Let's uh I wanna take it to a little bit of something more <coughs> sorry. <laughs> A little bit something more serious right now. All right, we're gonna start with Dom, then we're gonna go to you, Tyler, and then we'll go to me. What would twenty year? What would Dom? How old are you now? How old are you now? Turn twenty seven. All right. What would twenty seven year old Dom say to twenty year old Dom? Hmm. See, twenty. I was a junior, sophomore, junior in high school. <laughs> I don't think I would tell myself anything. I, uh, Nothing you would tell yourself? No, because I I enjoyed college. I wasn't. I couldn't switch my major at that point. I was a film major. I enjoyed every party that I could go to. And now I'm a teacher. So I think that was a... Everything happened for a reason. Just I would say, keep on keeping on. Keep on trucking. I, I'd have to think if there's anything I did that was regrettable. If it was that regrettable, you'd know about it right now. Yeah, well, I mean, there's one time uh, I was going to watch the Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I wanted to see it by myself in theaters. And I pre-gamed. And I walked into the women's bathroom accidentally. Uh, but that was like the only regrettable thing. And then the, wa I, the walk home... It was like two miles and I fell into some bushes, but. <laughs> Dumb. I basically did that last year in the middle of Pittsburgh. <laughs> With the oh, weather. One time, I hid in a forest one time because we heard our landlord was coming up over or something. And I ran into a forest and just squatted until someone could pick me up. <laughs> squatted. He fucking squatted. Yeah. Don has never sounded more millennial California ever. <laughs> he just fucking squatted. But other than that, good experiences all around. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Other than oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Well, 20-year-old me, this is... I did this when I was 22, I think. I would tell myself when I was doing the uh, fantasy football draft... In SoCal, San Diego, take it easy. Because I went a little bit too crazy. And I thought, oh, I'm going to walk to this Taco Bell. I pulled up on my phone. And everyone else went back to the Airbnb. And I walked miles. And then I was on the side of a cliff over the ocean. And I was slipping. <laughs> oh my I was Lord. like, this is not the right way. And it was, it was like a... a an experience, and I stopped drinking so much after that because I almost fell into the ocean <laughs> off of a cliff trying to get a Taco Bell. So how much did you drink back then? 
What do you mean back then? Now I take Four it easy, also. you know. No, it was it was uh we went to a bar, we got bottle service at a bar, I guess, if that's possible. Oh yeah, bottle service is possible that was, at a bar. That was the lowest uh I had been. <laughs> that almost in the ocean. Now you're making it depressing almost. You're like this yeah, is the most point in my life. No, I'm, I made up with Taco Bell after that. It's all good. <laughs> they made up with your butthole. Oh, dude, this bidet is coming in clutch. <laughs> all right. I still, I'm still trying to figure out how to use it, but it's bomb. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you might take a few under the nut shots, but whatever. Just realize it's all clean. No, I just like you don't. I don't know. Like, are you supposed to suck in or whatnot? Clinch. Because it's pretty much turning into a. Uh, what did I talk about? I don't know if this is on the last podcast. When you uh, shoot water up there, what's that called? Oh, not an enema, but a... Uh, yeah, an no, enema. Or it's like a douche for a truck. female. A butt douche. It's kind of like an enema. It's like, is that what it's supposed to do? No, you're supposed to close it off a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to... If it, starts feeling really, if it starts feeling really good, you're using it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Or if you start getting watermarks in your underwear throughout the workday, you're definitely using it wrong. Well, yeah, because I, you know, I stand up and just like, oh no, there's there's some uh, <laughs> some toilet water in me right now. Gotta <laughs> gotta finish if you these use, off. If you use the bidet, the bidet, and five minutes later you have to piss, you're using it wrong. I don't think that's how science works. If Anatomy you wise, it up there, it probably does. Blowing your nose and extra uh, extra liquidy snot. I mean, you never know, right? If you don't get thirsty the whole day, you definitely hooped water on the bidet. All right, all right, Tyler. What would? How old are you now? Thirty-one. Old enough to part. Thirty-one. See, I guessed it. Thirty-one. What would you tell twenty-year-old Tyler? I would say, hey, say, man, do you really need a second burrito from Qdoba? Um, I would. That's what I would say to myself, bro. Hey. Push your way, push yourself away from the table, man. <laughs> Slow down on the food, bro. You don't need all that. And I would probably say, don't drop out of school, man. I want to be a cop. I'd be a badass cop, bro. I'd find whippersnappers like Dom and just beat the shit out of them. Ragdoll them. You think? Straight up, just ragdoll and Dom for squatting. Dude, Tyler, I'm not gonna be able to punch you in the face if uh, PCA doesn't happen. Well, you're coming to the Roman craft party, hopefully. If if that happens, yeah. Yeah, I mean you're talking like what a month and a couple of days away. It's probably not happening. I'd be very surprised. Between Two months, bro. Between where where California is and where Dom is, it's like night day difference in this world. That's true. Yeah, I would say stay in school, man, and uh, uh, don't eat so much, bro. You don't need all that. That's what I would say. All right, that's solid advice. That's solid advice. All right, I'm 35 in a couple of days. So what would I tell 20? So 15 years difference. What would I tell 20 year old JP? Whiskey doesn't actually make you want to fight everybody. Chill out. <laughs> Does that mean drink less whiskey or don't drink whiskey to try to provoke you to fight? It's basically just when you drink whiskey, just chill out. Don't get bent out of shape so easy. Like Dom. Dom got pretty feisty when he was when he drank a lot. He Dude, these for five minutes. These ladies at Food Max yesterday were about to get into it. It was rough. Like they opened a new a new lane, a new aisle, aisle lane, whatever. New uh, cashier, whatever. And this lady with a mask on comes and just swoops in after I and then these ladies behind me have been in the line for a while. And I say, you yeah, know, forget it. I stayed in my line. Um, but these ladies started mouthing off, and she was just giving it back, and then she called the cops on them in line to buy potatoes. I was like, come on. Don, this is how crazy made I should have I should have stuck around the in the uh, parking lot to record a World, World Star video, but I just got out of there. It could be Corona, COVID-19 outbreaks or outtakes. Coven nineteen outtakes. Yeah, I was not gonna, not gonna proctor that fight. If you have that much of the fight that you know, you might as well have stuck around. You might as well stuck around. 
I wasn't like yeah, you're pretty invested. Dude, back. You 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 blue balled yourself. You blue balled yourself in this fight. It it just wouldn't have been interesting. They uh, they all could have been moms, and they were just upset. I don't know what's going on in their lives. I mean, there's no reason to fight over who was in line first. But come on, you don't cut. I I, I dislike people that cut in line. <laughs> Whoa, those are strong words. I dislike people. Though. No, I mean, you know what? Regardless of the time of the year it is, or what's what what pandemic's going on, yeah, cutting is just a dick move. Yeah, straight up. I'd probably throw something at somebody that cut the line. Like I would look for the most liquid thing that I had in my hands and I'd throw it at them. Well, liquid, it would still be hard. Liquid's never stored in anything soft. But that's why you hope it hits them when it's hard and then when it busts down, then it sprays all over them. So they get like a double whammy. Oh, I'm thinking like a, a beer can. Like that would not... <laughs> that? <laughs> Shouldn't be throwing that at somebody. Or I'd whip a head of lettuce at somebody. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. We're going to do a dome somebody. What's that? Just dome somebody with a head of lettuce. Straight a head of lettuce to the head. All right. One second. Let me pull this up on my phone. We're, uh, I've never given you guys this before. We're going to do this segment of the show. I like to call a shooter's got to shoot. So what this is, is I'm going to read you guys. You guys could do this. Like, uh, was it? Let's make a deal. You could call a friend vice versa. You know, you guys, whoever answers can ask a friend. You know, you guys got your options. We're going to do shooters. Gotta we shoot. gotta, what? We got to beat. We got to beat Mike and Skip on this, bro. That's not what hard. They they did, it's not hard. They did horrible. All right. All right. All right. All right. So what shooters got to shoot is, is I'm going to ask you guys a question from either a sister or a, a statement, a comment from either a sister of the leaf page, porn star page. Or craft beer girl page, and you have to guess who it is. I'll give a little insight into it. All right, Dom, I trust you. You follow all these accounts, so. I'm gonna leave now, you Dom. All right, you can phone me. Okay, I must admit, I am a huge fan of pinup style, Art Vargas and Elvgren, especially. This is awesome. Can't say how much I love it. Please do more. <laughs> is this that for me like first? A... It's whoever wants to answer it. It's for us. We're we're a team, bro. You're not my team. You'd be you'd be last pick. Uh, I'm gonna say beer beer girl. Eh. That's what oh, I was gonna say. Oh for one, sister of the leaf. Oh All right. Question or you, statement number two: What coronavirus? You give me fever. Ooh, <laughs> props to that guy. Wow, sister of the leap, Dom. I think I was gonna say uh, porn account. It's up to you guys. Porn. Give me the final decision. Porn. Porn. Yeah, yeah. sister of the leap. That was actually from the same page. <laughs> Tyler, you suck, man. I was, I was going to say that's, that was pretty timid, so that's why I figured Sister of the Leaf, bro. Sorry, one second. I'm just trying to find the other end. Oh, you know, I'm ready. 0 for it. 2, Dom. Mr. Dom, we're 0 for 2. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dom. Mr. Dom, why are we 0 for 2? I'm about to come back. <laughs> um, sorry. Usually I don't do this on the go. It's a little bit more tougher. Yo, so well, real quick, you're saying porn accounts? Is this on Instagram? Yeah. Dom, don't act like you've never seen a porn. <laughs> Dom, account. don't. Dom, no one believes in that. There's no, but uh, Instagram doesn't allow that. I thought. What? Well, according to Inst my algorithm. Don, what do you have the what do you have the Instagram account of a 14 year old kid? My goodness, <laughs> I I follow. Cigar people. I don't even follow any beer accounts, actually. Dom, me the, the, the women in the cigar industry are far more approved than the women in the porn industry. At least the porn industry is getting paid to do that. Yeah, but they can't. They just don't show anything on Instagram, right? Yeah, but they show as much as the Sister of the Leaf do or the beer girls do. 
Okay. Except that makes sense. Except when they say like link to uh, whatever streaming site or whatever, they're yeah. fans only. Yeah, but some sister of the leaf have those. JP, Rip. don't fall for this shit. He's trying to be all naive and bro. Don't better watch. Don't I'm believe gonna, that. I'm not falling for it. You guys are over three. Roll for two, first of all. No, I think it was over three, oh, wasn't it? No, just yeah. Two. We're waiting for the third one, but you're dicking around. All right, all right, all right, all right. Tyler, you get final say on this next one. How about that? Uh oh, I hear so you can sh- you can share in our uh, downfall. <laughs> I'll give you guys an easy one. I bet you could crush a can in between those. <laughs> First of all, I want to know if this is in regard to cans or butt, because he should have said <laughs> crush a can between those cans. That would have been clever. So he used a peach emoji. Oh no, that's not. And then a muscle arm. Oh, can, Abby Orsa. Can between cans would have been better. Uh, don't no, Tyler. This is your call. This is your pick. Beer, beer chick. Are you sure? Yes. All right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> One for three. This is uh, my Jonah Hill impersonation of Moneyball. <laughs> it's a great movie. Nice. All right. I'm just pulling up another one. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Um, uh, this is the end. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. It's a good movie. Oh man, when he uh, Jonah Hill is fucking hilarious. Well, no, uh, Danny McBride is man. Dude, Kenny Powers is just the greatest thing in life. Oh, I gotta, I gotta rewatch that. Okay, the Big Apple. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> is this oh. is this lady from New York? Is that the joke? <laughs> She's no, not from New York. Down. That's Chicago. Chicago's a big apple? Yeah. I thought New York was a big apple. No, New York's the windy city. Yeah, New York's the windy city, bro. I thought that was a Buffalo. No, Buffalo's the honeymoon capital of the world. <laughs> what? Buffalo's right. the armpit of the world. <laughs> I'm going to say Cigar Babe because it's kind of low key. Yeah. It's not provocative. It was actually it's getting people going. God damn it, Dom. One for three. One for four, I mean. All right. Uh, JP, you like the you like the track coat I'm wearing, bro? Hell yeah, man. That's Rockin a fucking rock and red. All right. Uh that has to be the most unamused look I have ever seen on your face. Porn. It's rude. Yeah, I'll, I'll second that. It's actually from the same Craft Girl beers page from the same post. We should have figured it. It would be easy for him to look. He's being lazy. Am I, though? Or am I being smart? Savvy and smart. Thank you. Was she just, like, glaring at the camera? <laughs> I don't know. She's standing in the middle of Times Square, and she just didn't look stoked. Uh. Was not impressed. The husband is like, I'm tired of you in your OnlyFans account. You can walk around Times Square with a beer? Or is it just a picture of her? Uh, uh, Angela, you're making self-isolation more bearable. I don't know any Angela cigar babes. Porn. Yeah, sure. Well, Tyler's pick. Porn? Yeah. yeah. All right, you're right. You're right. All right. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> All right. Now, now now to dig deep in the books, boys. Are you ready? So do you, do you save these all as like photos? You screenshot them? Yeah, when I'm prepared for it, usually I have a shit ton lined up that I use and I'm labeled them already. Okay. Can you well, do me a favor and use one of Dom's? No, I'm I mean weird one that on my own. Yeah, do one that you've left or that Dom left. <laughs> I, I, I don't it. leave any weird comments that I know of. All right. Solid swim in the pool today. 
Dude, that's got to be Schmokini. Cigar Babe. Who commented it? <laughs> Dom. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> All right. I'm giving you 50% on this because I left the comment. <laughs> All right. Bro, we got we got it right, though. But you didn't ask about the farts. I, I expect anything you say to be about farts. All right. Farts love, love the black. Ooh. This was left on a Game of Thrones Love the... uh, fan account. It's either an Oscuro Oscur cigar that's been smoked or a dark beer or I'm going to say porn account. <laughs> it's for the leaf. It's actually the same page I read. That. <laughs> My goodness. I think she's just wearing a black bikini. That's all it is. It's just a black bikini. Oh, uh, that makes sense. All right. It checks out. <laughs> the facts are in, man. Dude, I'm going to get some sun during this quarantine. <laughs> it's going to rain for the next like, four days, but after that, I'm going to be poolside. I just can't smoke a cigar by the pool, but... Technically, you're not even supposed to be smoking now, right? You can get thrown out of there. Yeah, but not. I can't be evicted until like May, end of May, I think. All right. Living life ready? on the edge. Sexy as ever. I have faith in what will be. I believe you will will gorgeous today and tomorrow. What? Sky what will be? Line. Sexy as ever. I have faith in what will be. I believe you will gorgeous today and tomorrow. It doesn't even make sense. I feel like he's expecting to have a child with whoever this is. Like what will be? Like let me sire some children with you. Yeah. Let me cream Corn. you. Corn. I was gonna say beer. Sister of the Leaf. Ah. From a cigar shop. Ooh, really? Oh yeah. That's dangerous, I feel like. Oh yeah. Good shop. And you know what? He's a big repeat offender. <laughs> wow. What shop? Big... Arizona. Ooh. Man, can That's you? All I'm saying. Because on uh, Instagram, you know, it used to show like a feed with who's commenting what and where. I think they took that out, didn't they? Like you can't see what your your fault your uh, the people you're following what they're commenting on. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, you used to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you swipe over to the the, you go to the second page with the heart, and then you swipe over to see who's liking what. Yeah. See, I wish I had that now. Doing this. Oh, I mean, because yeah. you can see who all the creepers are. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the creepers don't follow the show, or if they do, they don't follow it for long, or they don't comment for long. Shooters got to shoot, man. Buddy, when it's your time to take the shot, you got to shoot. All right, I got one more covered up. Nice of you to save me a seat. Huh. Beer. That's Sister of the Leaf. I knew it. You knew it. You should have said something. I figure you accidentally get one right. There's a pattern to this. There's an algorithm. And coincidentally, Tyler is like Mike Rosales, and you are like Skip. I guess that's fair. I'll take Dude, it. Dude, those fucking... <laughs> JP, those, those pictures you did with those guys were fucking hilarious. Yo, I don't do them, man. I have a meme maker for the show. Shout out to uh, Nick and Tim C, man. They make the uh, they make the memes. I'll tell you what, bro. You got a big staff there at uh, at your your show there, man. And uh, props to them. I'm telling you, days of payroll. I'm I'm in the office for a few days at a time. <laughs> but you know what? I actually I forgot to say it. Shooters got to shoot is brought to you by Cigars and Guns. When you're looking for any of your Second Amendment apparel needs, you got to hit up Cigars and Guns. They got the best whiskey glasses. They got the best hats you want. They got the patches. They got the badges. If you really love to support the Second Amendment, hit up Cigars and Guns. Puff, puff, pew, pew, motherfuckers. I was waiting for that. Puff, puff, pew, pew. Pew, pew. That's the key part. All right. Hey, yo, JP. Yo. When you lie up in Atabay, do you use the cedar spill inside? 
You know what? I've I never like actually used a cedar spill ever. I do when it's an Atabe. I've tried, and then I just get pissed off with it, and I throw it down. Oh, well, that, that might happen, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I wear way too much of flammable clothes now to use a cedar spill. I know. Shit. Um, I want to give a little shout out here to V Cut Everything. Thank you for the cigar. I've been wanting to try it for a no. long time. Let me know how it is. Stolen Throne, Crown of the Crook, Crook of the Crown, something or other. It's a, it's a nice look at that. Got a little close foot there. Oh, crap. Oh, don't burn. Oh, burn my jeans. Oh, yeah. See? Not your Levi's. Ten Yo, jeans for weeks. This past weekend, I was on it. I was on a guy's trip away, a guy's weekend away this past weekend. Around the campfire, ruined one tracksuit really quick. Oh, crap. I got ash in my drink. It's all good. All right. Since this whole ordeal has gone on. Time out, time out. All right. One pop, everybody knows the rules. All right, let's get, hit it here. Hit it here. We got one uh, pop cigar it's, review. It's good. It's, uh, it's strong. It's good, man. Um, I give it an eight nine. This is eight, good. Nine. It's a nice. high score. It's not a rookie score. Eight nine on cool. one pop cigar. Okay, we got one pop cigar reviews. Just gave us a review. Dumb. Little quick. What's up? Little quick. Add a bay cigar analogies review. <clears throat> Dude, well, I I'll say I've only given two ten out of tens. I'm not looking for Atabay. a review. I'm looking for a review. Can't do the full freaking review. Two people well, can try. Okay, I'll do, I'll do I'll be the other guy. You be you. I'll be the other guy. All right, because yeah, I was gonna. Can I just throw you my pit vipers? <laughs> <laughs> my Let's pit see. Vipers. Uh, just throw it, and I'll pretend to catch them. Okay, <laughs> so I like to do uh, based off of the brand or the name. That's usually where I get the analogy from. So Atabay, I believe Atabay's uh, were. An indigenous tribe, or is that no? Is the name of a god or goddess? God of sex or god of love? Yeah, fuck yeah. Ugh. There you go. Oh, yeah. So then I would say if uh, this cigar were a Greek god, I would go Greek just because Greeks are more. Um, I mean, when you think of gods, you think of Greek gods. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it would be. Go <laughs> Achilles. I think it actually has something to do with Vigueros. Vigero? Uh, Vigero. <laughs> Veril Vigueros? Veril Vigueros. I think it's something to do with the V in Vigueros. They make a Cuban cigar, a little green band with uh, chrome around it. I've had that. They're good. They're nice. Yeah. I Seven think one. I could be wrong. I'm bad with this sort of shit. Well, I'm going Achilles because it makes me think of, uh, is it Goodyear that has the... Wait, no, Hermes is the one. Hermes. Herpes. It's no, Hermes has the, the the little fly things on the heel. The bumps? No, the uh, the wings, right? Oh, wings Hercules. on the ankle? No, not Hercules. It's, it's got to be Hermes. Is it, no, Achilles gets shot there. Hermes is the one who flies. Oh. Pretty sure. But Goodyear, Goodyear Blimp, is the it's in gold. So that's what I think of when I'm smoking this. The Goodyear Blimp. Dun, 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 dun. Zeppelin. Ze yeah, Zeppelin. There you go. Oh, the humanity. What was that? The big fucking Zeppelin crash into the ground. The Hindenburg. Yep. The Hinden Look, the That's little the you guys checked in. There's a little history lesson we got going on now. You will learn today. You will, you will learn it down. All right. All right. So there it is. There it is. We got it out of our way. Um, I want to try to stem off one of the segments of the show. If we could give people cigar tips, or not, not even cigar tips, just tips, right? Essentially, all three of us are on different corners of the world almost, right? Yes. We're all very far away from each other. Not, not really corners of the world, maybe corners of North America. Yeah, there you go. There's, no, West other, Coast, there's no other part Midwest, of the world. East Coast. And then, like, I'm almost smack in the middle, I guess. Or I guess Tyler is. Word. Yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, 
from what's uh, what's happened this past week, two weeks, what is advice you'd give to people? Don't be a dick. Save I'd say people. have a have a bug out bag ready at all times. Bug out or get out bag. So I have a bag with like a water filter, uh, a throwing axe, some throwing knives, <laughs> uh, oh some, some band aids, some canned sardines. But <laughs> just the just essentials, you know. I gotta tell you right now, if you have throwing knives on you and band aids. If you miss somebody with that throwing knife, you're going to need a lot more than a band-aid. I got some gauze. <laughs> Just pack the wound. Pack the wound. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> flesh wound. <laughs> yeah, have, have some ready to go in case you need to live in the forest. Squat in the forest for a little bit, you know. You pack your flashlight? <laughs> I thought that's what he said. Uh, uh, JP had somebody to jerk them off. No, you listen to that new song by Riff Raff? No. Uh, no, no one does. Uh, Butterscotch Boss. You know, Butterscotch Babe Ruth. It's something about like you grabbed your uncle's flashlight and licked it. And your grandfather's ticklish or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's all, all right. So that's that's your tip is a little bug out bag. Yeah. Be prepared. Right. If something catches fire, you need to just get out. Have essentials in there. <laughs> throwing knives. <laughs> I can't, I can't, it's like we're playing 007 James Bond for Nintendo 64. And it's just like, guys, throwing <laughs> knives time. Throwing knives. You guys didn't bring throwing knives? You're fucked if you didn't. I, I guess never use them. Things, but I will throw them. Hey, more like kill time. Practice your aim. Here's the thing with throwing knives. They're only good if you hit somebody every time. Yeah, we'll find a sloth and then... <laughs> feed yourself for a week <laughs> all right all right so my a hat out of cloth <laughs> oh, yeah. disgusting it's like a mullet mullet sloth oh i got a, i got a quick question guys yeah is this weird or not weird um so in esteli there's a lot of stray dogs i went to the grocery store and bought some dogs you didn't fuck one did you gonna... No, 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 no. Okay. I I bought. I went to the grocery store and bought dog treats and was handing them out. Is that weird? Fuck no. I did the same in Cuba with all the cats. Okay, let's check. Because I was driving around with Nick, and I'm like, Nick, pull over. I got dog treats. And he's like, bro, you need to stop. And then I went to a restaurant, and I threw some steak, and the dog would not leave me alone, and I embarrassed the person I was with. So I'm like, it would only be weird if you had peanut butter. Yeah, okay. Peanut butter on my balls. Let the dogs lick them. Yeah, I mean, that's the only time it would ever be weird. All right. Or if you trained them to not use peanut butter, but to use dog treats. I'm against it. I'm against it. What, you don't think? I'm an animal lover. I love feeding It's got to be survival of the fittest, man. You need the the strongest. You said you were going to bring throwing knives. (laughs) Because I'm trying to survive, dude. If I can't hit my target, then I'm not going to survive. Yeah, I'm going to have a pack of dogs that's going to be... rip you apart. No, they're not going to rip me apart if they're just feeding off of whatever Tyler. Hey, Tyler. No, he's going to be, buying... like be like that gorilla lady. What's what? her name? That lady that like raised Crazy. herself with gorillas and monkeys and shit. Oh, I know you're talking Jane? about. Jane? No. J- Jane, I think, was the name of like the anthropologist. Yeah, but Tyler's going to be... Jane Seymour. Tyler's good. They're going to look at Tyler like he's one of them. There's Dom. They're going to look at you like they just ran out of somebody's house that was playing Nintendo 64 with throwing, <laughs> throwing knives mode on. Dude, all about that uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> I freaking hate Rainbow bananas. Road. <laughs> he's just whipping bananas at people too. Fuck, I hope <laughs> you slip. I hope you slip while you're running at me. Dude, have you ever slipped on a banana peel actually for real? So... A long time ago, when I lived out with my parents and I was like 10 years old, me and my sister thought it would be funny because you see the cartoons and you see people slip on it. So we did the yeah. same thing on the kitchen floor at my parents' house and you actually slept pretty good. Yeah, I was. I tried to make a video once as a joke and it, they're slippery. Yeah, it actually like it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. You ever uh, slip on my drip? Slip <laughs> on my drip. Slop on my knob. Corn on my cob. 
check in with me and do your job. Lay <laughs> on the bed. Yeah, ho. Don't have to ask. Don't have to bet. Yeah. Dom hates drip. Dom hates drip, but loves throwing knives. Yeah, that's why he's a fucking. Have you guys, have you guys never thrown knives before? No. I live in the middle of the country. I've thrown lots of knives. So, okay, oh. it's not like, well, at least it's not like uh, expendables. Like, you have to be throwing straight. You can't just, like, throw, like, a baseball, which sucks because then you lose a lot of velocity. But <laughs> what do you do if the guy has a gun, though? Um, <clears throat> I put down my oh, throwing oh. knives and, like, dude, fisticuffs, let's go. Try to even the playing <laughs> field. Yeah, You don't <laughs> want to cut Be a man of respect. <laughs> You go, all right, I'll level you out. I'll have one bullet, but you have six knives. I don't think that'll work out for me. If he takes a leg shot, you're good. Yeah. I need some uh, <laughs> Call of Duty armor. <laughs> level up. Level up. Get the, uh, the juggernaut suit, man. That thing is badass. Or Just a catch the bullet, man. You can catch a bullet. You can't catch a knife. You can catch leaves, Dom. You could, you, could catch a, you could catch a knife right in the chest. Yeah, but it wouldn't be my chest after the knives. <laughs> I mean, a little human sacrifice and you're good. For the Atabe. For, for the Atabe. Yo, that's why you carry that's the Atabe Kubo and you fill it with rocks. Ooh. That's a callback. They call in the biz. Dude, yeah. I thought about getting a slingshot actually for my get out bag. A slingshot would actually be pretty sick because that's distance thing, right? And you could definitely down some uh, some foul a lot easier with a rock and a slingshot than throwing knives. It's not even. Dude, you could hide with a slingshot shot and knock a motherfucker down in the head from like 100 yards away. Yep. You crack a dude in the head with a fucking slingshot, he's dead. Dude, I got domed by a corn cob. Once. <laughs> I was, oh, it was, that was a bad day. It was uh, when I, the day I got my braces. Corn on the cob. Dom on the top to the dome. On Halloween. Like how my parents like apologized to me afterward, but it was a middle <laughs> school. But I got it on Halloween, had braces. We all went to a festive thing and there was a, uh, a corn maze. So I'm just walking through on my own and I just get lamb blasted in the face by this raw corn cob and these kids were just chucking them and it oh man did you ever that do that day. as a kid though have corn cob fights no did you what? dude you gotta ask tyler i guarantee you tyler did dude, i grew up in the middle of the country yeah you and like 10 friends would all go into the cornfield everybody scatters out and you just lob corn cobs in the air where you think all your friends are you base where your friends are where you see the corns lob from I know that was a thing. It's the best game in the world. Well, it sucks when you don't expect it. <laughs> you know, just go we, down. We used to do this at like 12 o'clock at night. Support. Yeah, we would do this in the middle of the night. I mean, that makes sense because then you can't see them coming. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fair game then. Yeah. You just got to hope You just gotta hope the guy on your side is the kid with the longest arm that can throw the furthest. We would just uh, go blow up stuff in a fire pit. That's you cool. Throw in like a, a bottle of off because, like, uh, I don't know how mosquitoes are where you are. Oh, they're fucking brutal. Suck. So we, we would get a uh, an off can, toss it in the fire pit, go duck for cover, explode, and we'd be fine, <laughs> or at least we thought we were. So, fun little story: the weekend, the guys' weekend, I just came back from. Every time we finished a bottle of liquor, you put the cork yeah. back in it, you set it in the fire pit, the heat heats up and presses the cork out of it and it lodges in the air like 20 feet 30 feet before before uh the bottle cracks it would do that yeah yeah every time we never had a bottle crack every time it shot the cork out sometimes you could shove the cork back in the bottle and it would shoot it out again you've got to have a, a good cork or so a good bottle then i would think yeah they're, they're pretty decent bottles but we'd be we'd shove it in we'd forget about it we're standing around like a, a ways away from it all here's and then I'll dude one hit me in the foot and I cut it. Because I was like, holy fuck, that's crazy. Nice. Yeah, so I was oh, sorry, Dub. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, because I was trying to plan for 
a month or more been quarantined if everything closed. So I stocked <laughs> up on uh, some whiskeys. But I bought a uh, one bottle of Lagavoyen. Is it 12 or 16? There's 12. Like and something. I think 14 too, actually. Well, I got one of the nicer ones. And I wasn't planning on opening it in case I could barter it off for TP, like a TP or a stack of potatoes. Yo, that's why you got to use your throwing knives and be like, I won't hit you with this if you give me. Yeah, maybe. But I just don't know if that'll uh, translate. I don't, I'd have to get a lot of TP for that, man. Yeah, bottle of, a bottle of laggy. I mean, I'd at, I'd want at least like forty rolls in this hard time. Minimum. Yeah. All right. What's your tip, JP? We did our tips. What's yours? I can't even remember. Just a tip. <laughs> right now, it's uh, everything's closed. Money doesn't mean nothing. Everyone's starting to roam the streets. Got some zombies walking around. <clears throat> What's your tip? Don't be scared to crack a motherfucker in the face. You go for the face first? Oh, of the face? Or I kick straight out the kneecap? Yeah, kneecap. Kneecap, you can reach. So if they're bigger than me, kneecap. If they're not bigger yeah. than me, nose. Okay, how do you feel about uh, nut shots? I honestly... <laughs> I think if I would, I I would disrespect them more by punching them in the nuts. I think. Yeah, because I'm just like cutting in line, superpose the nut shots. I think you're like you're oh, certain things the nut shots are called for. I well, <sighs> cutting in line, you're catching a nut shot. Just the quick little, okay. like hand whip to the to the the sack. Oh yeah, you're catching one. Gotcha. I'll like I'll pretend to walk in front of you and fling my hand and catch you, uh, straight catch you in the fucking ball bag. It drops you, man. Oh, it does it. It's the littlest. See, that's the thing. That's like that Bruce Lee shit, right? Where less is more, and just bang, drop a full grown guy. Little quick nut tap. Bang bang. And it saves your hands, right? You're not damaging your hands. But dude, have you like punching someone that that hurts your fists? Oh yeah. Now you break your. Phalanges doing that. That's my word. Your dick beaters. Your dick beaters. The fuck my grandpa clubs. used to say. The dick clubs. Uh, uh, pecker pinchers <laughs> or dick beaters, my grandpa would say. R.I.P. Grandpa. Tyler, you look like the kind of guy who would play uh, Club Penguin back in the day. The fuck is Club Shambo? Penguin? It was like a uh, an online game where you meet people and you talk to them and you're a penguin avatar <laughs> oh i remember that <laughs> exactly <laughs> and uh puzzle know. pirates was another one puzzle pirates no i don't know that one, there was one what's where your you fascination were with pirates dumb what's your fascination with pirates this is pirate month man and why perfect... um Mar I, I teach... well i was supposed to teach treasure island this month and it's yeah. not happening because I'm not in school anymore. The treasure is coronavirus. But no, I, I have my uh, my parrot. It's not a parrot. It's a my parrot. Flamingo. It's a parrot, dude. Doesn't really work. I somehow oh. think that fits around Dom's waist. No, it, it doesn't. Oh my! It's for putting a bottle in. When you're on the. In the jacuzzi in the pool, you put a little bottle in there, set it, or maybe it's for your glass. I don't know. Never tried I it. I guarantee Dom puts up mouse in that hole too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Little flamingo yeah. fucker. <laughs> yeah, you think so? It fit in there? Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> no. Thank you. Hey, it could fit oh, in wow. there, but it's sure as fuck banging off the walls. <laughs> hey, nobody said the flamingo had to like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, all right, hey. all right, all right. That segment That's of the so show weird. where we're just giving you tips and they're really not productive at all. And I wouldn't recommend taking any of the tips, but you can if you want, <laughs> or you don't have to, but you can. It's brought to you by Sir Louis Cigars. When you're looking to swing that big ass boutique dick around of yours, you got to hit up Sir Louis Cigars. Hit up Hunter; he's a great guy. 
located out in Massachusetts. Tyler, what do you got to say? Hey, I did a little order with the guy. I got some Jeremy Jack. I bought uh, three of the El Chapos, five of the what the fuck this is? Jeremy Jack. Um, yeah, uh, fast shipping, bro. Uh, pack with a, a Boveda pack. They're ready to smoke, man. Uh, check out Sir Louis Cigars for your, your boutique stuff, man. He's got some good stuff. Yo, when you're looking to swing that big stick around yours, man, hit up Sir Luis Cigars. Swing that big boutique dick. Hey, uh, JP, can we get a uh, bottle pick? See how far you're doing? How well you're doing on that? Dang. I'm fucking hammered. Dambuka. Well, Fuck, you uh, are still Dambuka. competent. You're able to respond to things and not <laughs> repeat topics. So you're, you're doing good. My body, yeah, though, my, my body feels like a beat up asshole. But what's your mind telling you? My mind's telling me to go to sleep or eat. Oh. Like I'm running on fumes. I'm, I'm running on fucking fumes right now. All right. What do you what is it? What's the rebar have for snacks? Yeah, what's the snack situation out there? I got a bunch of different chips and stuff like that out here. I'm, just, hey. I'm, I'm a snack guy or I'm not a snack guy at all. Dude, I'm the same way, bro. Like I eat them if I can see them, but if I don't see them, I just don't give a fuck. Ditto. Well, chip wise, what's a good chip? What's a bad chip? Flavor, flavor. I'm, I'm not really about. a chip guy though. Like I, I'm a chip with a dip guy. I gotta have a dip. Uh, French onion dip. Yeah, so, uh, French onion or nacho cheese dip. Oh fuck yeah! Now we're talking. That I just fuck shit up all day long. Those two, I could dip them in both cheese to onion or onion to cheese. Dip it. I don't care. I just eat it. I think I, that's uh, East Coast or wherever you guys are, North. Wherever thing. It's called I having do. taste buds. Yeah. Onions, I can't do in dip or onion chips. But French, I don't like onions, but French onion dip, man. That's where I, I don't do oh. it very often. Fr but. Like French onion dip, you could seriously, you could dip a carrot in that and eat it. You could dip a cucumber. You could just eat it with a spoon. It doesn't matter. Dude, you don't, a, carrots, a you don't need a chip, a pretzel. Yep. You don't need a dip for carrots. Carrots are beautiful. If they're I would. With they're better beans. with. They're better with French onion dip though. Last year, I would bring a carrot every day instead of an apple, and I would just like hide it in different parts of my classroom. <laughs> Mister Dom, <laughs> there a carrot in your butt? <laughs> no, it was just. But the thing was though, I I didn't realize that carrots would, if they're out of the fridge for so long, they'd get all uh, like flaccid and loopy. <laughs> So then by lunchtime, it sucks Mr. to Dom, eat. Is that a dildo or a carrot? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, by the way, by the way, Mr. Dom also teaches grade 11. <laughs> He's hiding fucking carrots around the classroom for grade 11s. <laughs> it made it made sense, sense at the time. I don't do that Dom, anymore. You ever, you ever listen to that song by the police, Don't Stand So Close to Me? Don't yeah, it's stand. a creepy song. Don't Isn't stand so true? close to me. Don't teach him. Fuck, there's Mr. Dom with the carrot in this pocket. Mr. Oh. Dom, why'd you send me a friend request on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> on Snapchat. No. Mr. Dom, why do you keep sending me pictures of the, the carrot on Snapchat? <laughs> No, I, I incorporated that into uh, my spelling test because it became like, I forget what the spelling word was, but yeah. there was like a, a mutant carrot and it was a power carrot. I put the registered trademark R next to power carrot. <laughs> and anybody who ate it became like super strong. Orphis was the word. Or Orphis? No. Orphis or facial? <laughs> My goodness. I'm glad you guys aren't teachers. We'd be better than you. <laughs> well, I mean, I already know the answer of why I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I got that foul mouth on me. Damn. Yeah, that nice bad, dude. Holy shit. That is like a Pretty dead good. Guy. Mr. Dom, nice ass. <laughs> nice Mr. ass, Dom. Mr. Dom. <laughs> Mr. Dom, why do you keep showing me your ass? I appreciate the, the pirate voice but no i wasn't a pirate voice i was just a kid with a crazy lisp just came <laughs> off actually oh you should have tried the ash grab 
It, it wouldn't have worked because it just came off. Well, I guess that put it back it's... on the hey, put it back on the cigar. Yeah, as you as... place it back on. I just threw oh. it in the uh, ash tank. Ash tank. Ashtray. <laughs> we got an ash tank over there. It's where I keep my sharks. <laughs> the shark, the sharks, and they just like eating ashes. That's it. All right. Tom's an ash guy. <laughs> an ash cot. <laughs> I like your ash cot. <laughs> Are you still wearing bow ties on Fridays? Yeah, straight up. What you got against bow ties, man? Can you tie bow tie? Bow tie Tyler. Bow Tyler. So here's the thing with bow ties. One of my best friends, best friend, wears bow ties every day of his life. Some guys can wear bow ties. Some guys just have no business fucking touching bow ties. Are you a bow tie guy, Dom? Or are you just, you try to pull it off? Or do you think you are? No, I'm a, I'm a bow tie guy. All right. See, I can't, I can't wear a bow tie. It's tracksuit and nothing else on. Every day. Should I come? I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the tearaways and just commando and just, all right, I'm home for the day. Dude, off. That's awesome, bro. I, dude, I give you so many props. You're bringing back the tracksuit, bro. It needed to happen. It seriously needed to happen. It's just, with, especially now with being quarantined at home, you just got to be comfortable. You got to be comfortable. Why not be comfortable? But you're wearing a fucking suit. That's all it is. You're comfortable and you're wearing a suit. You look like I'm ready for business at any time. That's it. <laughs> you're well, you're making there. deals. You're cashing checks. Oh, you know. sorry. One sec. Hello? So you guys didn't even know. I just pretend I answered my phone. You guys didn't know. <laughs> no one's on that. No one's on the call. No, it's a black screen. Look. <laughs> business. That's yo. Know, if a track suits a suit, is a bathing suit a suit? Depending on the top. Birthday well, you suit. Throw, throw a bow tie on there too. No, you gotta wear like one of those mesh shirts up top where it's all mesh. No, 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 no. But then that's... it's a suit. Dude, that's. A suit is something that covers at least your bottom and top. A birthday suit Bro. is full skin, top and bottom, right? <laughs> All right. I love uh, Jackass with Party Boy. He wore oh. the, the bow tie, the Speedo, and cufflinks. <laughs> That's a suit. Top, bottom. It's a suit. Top, you got it. Suit is top, bottom, right? Whether it's all the same or it's different. That's suit. Flush suit. Yeah, skin suit. <laughs> skin hey, Tyler. <laughs> what if, up? Uh, in four days, when the sun comes out, if I go tanning in my speedo, I'm gonna take some pics for the uh, <laughs> cigar boys noise account. You start playing. Do favor, get... Hey, the cigar hammock boys. Yeah, put some ash in your chest there, bro. Oh yeah. What? Yo, you should try cutting a cigar off your chest hair. Salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper in there, man. <laughs> I feel like we got hit up. Um, you guys ever followed that account, Sexy Cigar Dudes? No. Are we on Check there? Check it out. Are any of us on there? Um, may or may not be. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just, just for the podcast sake, and if I need to sick my lawyer on them, I'm going to check right now. Okay. They commented Sexy. on a picture I did. I had, I was smoking a cigar with bunny ears. The, Sexy uh, Cigar Dudes. Oh Check God. it out. I, yeah. It's loading. Why let the ladies have all the fun? <laughs> Dom, did you post a picture with the Hoyo Epicure 2 with a crazy tan on your legs? What are you talking about? How do you know those are my legs? Why do you think those are my legs? <laughs> those are hairy as oh fuck. That's why. May or may not be. Dom, can we see the hairline? How's it looking these days? Oh, good. Thank you. Nice segue. Um, so I was thinking, yo, I swear, half I'm gone for are Dom's pictures. I'm, uh, it's not my account. I'm out of school for be. another two weeks. So I was like, Hey, talk to my girlfriend. I'm just going to shave my head bald. Cause I've been trying to do that again for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm subscribing. Um, <clears throat> anyway. My uh, girlfriend said that she's okay with a oh, mullet. On it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking about doing a mullet. Take some off top. The bunny ears, bro. Yeah, that was embarrassing, dude. Why'd you put that on our account? Dom, whatever. All these hairy ass pictures are you on there. 
No, not all. I don't know. Danny Vasquez <laughs> is on there. Isn't there one in somebody's butt? Yeah. Yeah. Bong and a cigar. That's that is not my butt. Hundred percent, I can tell you for a fact. It's your leg. You guys are silly. That's Dom's leg. I okay. That one. I drove to my parents with my top down. It was like a three-hour drive, and I got burnt to a crisp, man. And you have it's a Sebring, right? Too, and the nipple. No, it's not mine. I have it's pepperoni cute. nipples. That's not pepperoni. <laughs> what kind of convertible you got? Mustang, 2016. That, that just sounds like you'd post these pictures. I I don't. My word Sebring, means a lot. This is not my account. Hey, would it be cool if I got a Volkswagen Beetle convertible? No. All right, just checking. That's it for a friend. It wouldn't. So here's the, how you make it cool. Get the three track suit stripes up and across it. Oh, bro. Dude, I'm seriously thinking about doing that on my car. So I got a 2008 Kia Magentis. Primo condition. Seriously, 60,000 miles on it. Mint. Jet black, all black leather interior, three white Adidas stripes across the top and the back. How can I not? License plate, three stripes. Boom. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Seriously. Do it. All right. Open the trunk. Do it. All right. We got to get to a segment of the show where it's what plugs our Vitola. Usually it's what plugs mine, but I put no effort into this, so it's what plugs all of our Vitolas. So we'll each pick something, and then we each talk about it. All right. What Plugs Ever Told is brought to you by Nickel City Cigars. When you're looking for your Tatawahe, your Romacraft, your crowned heads, but most importantly, your United Cigars. My friends, you got to hit up Nickel City Cigars. Veteran-owned. Small business. Renowned? Renowned? Veteran-owned. Oh, thank you. Local business. Veteran-owned. Hit them up, Nickel City Cigars. Promo code Rebar. Save yourself some fucking money on stuff. Get a nice NCC member exclusive lounge only. The cigar shop was actually supposed to open tonight, but you know what? It's not because of this crazy ass pandemic that we're having right now. But you know what you could do? Go online, get some cigars delivered to your doorstep. Promo code Rebar. Boom, Nickel City Cigars. Bang, bang. All right. Tyler, what plugs your Vitola? When you go to a cigar shop, me. Sit in the lounge all day and don't buy any cigars. Do you allow that at your uh, your lounge? It's a it's a it's a um sore subject here. Uh I, I don't it's it's tough to know if people buy bought them at the shop, but hey, if you're gonna be hanging out here all day, you need to buy a cigar. Um is my opinion. Support support the local B and M. Um, buy your cigars, man. Um, don't sit because I, I see people coming in smoking online stuff, and it's like, bro, come, bro, go in the humidor and pick out a cigar. I don't care if it's four dollars or forty dollars. Well, I want to see it at forty, but buy a cigar from the shop. Don't just sit here and be a lounge blizzard and take up a chair and not buy any cigars. Especially now that we're capping the people in here, you gotta well, buy cigars out of the humidor. Here's my thing with that, right? Generally, I try for every hour I'm going to be there, I buy a cigar for. If I'm going to be there, I'm going to buy at least four cigars. Big deal. It could be 40 bucks. It could be 60 bucks, right? Not a lot. Yeah. To take up the time there. When you think about what that company operates, how much it costs to operate for every hour you're there, right? Not a big deal. I mean, what's it to grab a five pack no matter how long you're staying at a place? It could be an hour. It could be five hours. It could be eight hours, right? Big deal. Yeah. I agree. Makes Dom, sense. what plugs your Vitola? <laughs> Besides the carrot. <clears throat> Besides my goodness. Do you guys do you guys not eat raw carrots? No. Maybe no, if you put it if you, if you put it in a crock pot with some potatoes, a no. pot roast, some seasoning. Raw carrots are so I'm much in. better than cooked carrots. Not even close, bro. By far. No, if I mean a carrot, sauce. it's gotta be a baby carrot. Or it's a cooked carrot. What about bell peppers? Carrot is just bell pepper. Phallic. 
You guys eat raw bell peppers or uh, I don't cook like them? cold vegetables, bro. The fuck oh, is a bell dude, pepper? That, come on. I it's eat, a pepper looks like a bell. I eat beets. I'm mean, turn, dude. That sucks. Your piss is like red. So is my shit too. Oh my god. That's the that's best rough. part of it. <laughs> that's rough, man. I'm Yo, sorry. You, you forget you eat it. You question yourself the next two days, and you think your asshole is bleeding. E, you. I mean, <laughs> you guys don't bleed every time you wipe. Oh my lord. <laughs> and my third that's shit of the day. Done. My third shit of the day. I'm bleeding. Yeah. Hurting for a I'm lucky if I get one. What? <laughs> All right, Dom. Dom, what part of the Um. Mm. Uh, I'll say people are negative. I, I agree with I, that. <laughs> hey, people are. Quincy, yeah, go ahead. Enough, I plug Dom's Vitola. You're not, no, you're negative. not negative. I, on my podcast, I think I'm sort of negative. Yeah, no. I'm negative, and I said maybe I'm negative in a good way. I don't know. Sorry, I in a jocular way. In a jocular way. I look good. For jocular me. comes from the Greek Roman god Jupiter. It um means funny and a uh, kind of a uh, happy. Kind of way. I'm gonna have to double check that. Anyway, yeah, people are just always negative. Like on Mondays, freaking enjoy Monday, man. It's another day to day to live. I hate that. I'm having a cat. I'm having. I'm having a case of the Mondays. Yeah, Margaret right. Mondays. Uh, man. Mondays here, and it's like, what'd you expect after Sunday, you idiot? It's been happening that way for as long as you've been alive. Or in, in college, we do uh movie Mondays. We would put on a movie, have a drinking game, and it would be freaking awesome. Just find something every day to celebrate, I say. Because I, I do, uh, once again, in my classrooms, uh, I do the national day. And I'll put, put it on the board. And I'll try to celebrate it if it's possible. Yeah, like today was actually National Cheers Day, I think. Hey, cheers. 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 I got, well, I got one drink left. Cheers, boys. You ever watch uh, Dane Cook back in the day when it was funny? Oh, yeah. Are you talking about ninjas? My favorite was when he was talking about, he, he called his dad. He's like, yeah, dad, I'm having a bad day, you know. And his dad be like, you're having a bad day? I'm having a bad life. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was funny. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, yeah. No, I get what you mean about negative people. Like, I try to be negative all the time. Some spots, I guess negativity is almost constructive criticism, maybe. But it all depends on how it's read, right? It all depends which end you're on. Constructive criticism, it makes sense when done right. Yeah. It should not be forced, though, I don't think. Oh. Tyler, you got something you want to share with us? Yeah, I got a new keychain. Braggart. Uh, uh, Noxa. Raul Diesel, um, Esteban. Do you uh, lick it for you? No, uh, it's Esteban's brother from Roma Craft. He's a he's a cool dude. Or uh, Nika Sueño, his partner. That's his brother. And then, uh, do you guys like those scissors, man? These scissors are badass. No, I have I have yeah. a pair actually. Which can you buy those online? Uh, it's hard to now because Zycar tried is um um. Quality importers. Yeah, now they're they're having problems making the scissors. So hmm. if you see them, buy them. But uh, you know what though? They're they're sick as fuck, but they're actually hard to use. Like it's not. Yeah, if you're a fucking rookie. It's not comfortable using them. Yeah, but you're a baller. You look like a baller, man. Like, oh fuck! I always carry them on me. On me. I always carry them on me, but then I end up punching a cigar. And I just oh, punching like, is for rooks, man. No, you know what? I haven't it, punched a cigar in probably like eight years. Yeah. <clears throat> punching a cigar that, is a tool move. It is. It's a huge move. Don't punch your cigar. Dom, are they drag racing out in front of your place? Yeah, I was wondering if you heard that. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. And at times, got to make some money. 
Sorry, sorry. Toretto. Toretto, are they drag racing in one of your plays? Dom Toretto. <laughs> we don't beat bet pink slips. We bet toilet paper here. Yeah. You promised Dude, there's, there are some are. choppers on the block tonight. Today. Some choppers on the block. <laughs> Nothing the block more, is not, the block nothing is more Californian has ever been said than some choppers on the block. <laughs> what are you on the corner of Crenshaw? No, I'm not so Cal. I've been there though. Been to Crenshaw. Dom, um, can you do a? Can you do like a California I'm in Compton? Thing? Yo, Tyler, I like to see you in Compton. I'll, I'll go to Calabasas. That's where all the rappers <laughs> are nowadays. Mm, all the rappers, the fake rappers. Down, can you do us a typical California thing where you tell us, give us directions, where to turn, like hit the 45 and turn left no, by the... I, no, but I believe Californian sign language is like, I think you point to your ear and then you like go like this down, like hang loose, bro. Someone fact check me on that. I, I don't no. think I can. That's all right. You know, he's got his people to do that. Ian from Dapper Cigars is good because he's Californian as hell. Yeah, Fresno. Fresno. Bulldogs. All right. He was down in uh, he was down in Esteli when I was down there. Yo, he makes insane cigars, Ian. Dude, the El Baracho <laughs> and El Baracho Maduro, both of those solid. They named the Alboracho after me and Dom. <laughs> That's true. Nice. <laughs> El <Baracho. laughs> Yeah, Tyler. Uh, to get to work, jump on the 880. Uh, go south a bit. This is the direction. Sometimes there's traffic. Uh, it's neither here nor there, though. And then I jump on the 237. Drive by the new stadium, San Francisco Stadium. Uh, you know, then I take an exit. Then I'm at work. There you go. It's about a 40 minute drive, but you know, it's a lot better than the it's all highway. Home. It's all yeah, highway. Don't worry about smart. it. Uh -huh. Me home though. I like to uh, drop the top and uh, take out a, a baka. Something short. Drop the top. There's just Dom ripping on the Cali highways. Top down. Ripping. Baca in hand. Yep. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to wrap up another episode of the Rebar, but we're going to end off on one note you could give to people. Tyler, what's the note you could give to people, whether it's a sign-off, send-off, advice, whatever it is? One thing. Um. How about a plug here? Check out uh, our podcast, man. We had uh, Nicholas Malilo, a.k.a. Nick R. Agua, a.k.a. Chief of Broadleaf. We had him on um, last week. And then we had Nate Williams on from uh, JP's uh, um, mini JP, Nate Williams. He was on the week before. So there, um, yeah. Yo, Nick's the shit, Skip man. Gave, Nate's the shit. Skip Both gave us – yeah. Skip said that uh, our podcast sucks, but he listens to it because he likes us. So, or he said he likes me. That's why he listens to it. But um, <laughs> shout out to Skip and Nick, man. Great people. Thanks for having me down there. And I still leave, man. It was a lot of fun. Dom sucks. But other than that, man. <laughs> Almost said I don't suck at blow, but that's not true. <laughs> you don't uh, suck at blow. My send off, I'm going to say a. Hey, challenging times get your bug out bag eat potatoes drink water uh and yo all those cigars you've been saving for special occasions smoke them and you got like two weeks left smoke them i'm gonna be lined up i lit, lit up my out of bay today i've got one more but why not enjoy life i got one more thing do me a favor and smoke Try Patina cigars, Patina Connecticut, Patina Hab uh, Habano. He's coming out with Maduro. They're good cigars. Mo's a great guy. Smoke Patina too. You know, your cheesy smile is going to be recorded, yeah? <laughs> oh, it looks good on him, though. I mean, look at, look at him. 
Tyler looks like he's in grade six right now, posing for a photo with a bunch of planets in the background and behind him. He looks like Charlie Brown. There we go. Charlie Brown here underneath the orange. Come on, Snoopy. <laughs> All right. Something to take home from the show or from this week. Uh, don't be a piece of shit in life. Just don't be a piece of shit. All these people that call themselves brothers, brother of leaf, sister of leaf, actually be that instead of just using it. Just be that. Be a decent human. That's it. Can I throw a quick add on to that? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, so a lot of people on Instagram are doing live videos and whatnot. I, this is, I think this is a time when the community is kind of like coming together, people coming together. Come together just right now. Uh, hey, Tyler, is that Aerosmith? No, that's uh, Beatles. Bow, 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 thank bow, you. Bow. Thank you. The Beatles. That's right. But you um, know what, though? On your side yeah. note of that, you touched on the, not everybody needs to do the lives. Some people, people just don't give a yeah. fuck about. Some people just don't care about. If you've never gone live before, don't go live now. Nobody cares. I mean, I was going to go live with uh, Tyler, but... Uh, that would work, though. You guys do your show, so you're live. But you know what I mean? Yeah. I just need to find a way to... Because I can't punch him physically. i got to punch him verbally. That hat looks ridiculous on you. This is... <laughs> I... You okay now? You look like a square. You get look. Calm down. Look at JP. He's got swag, man. Look at him. He's like, he's like swag, bitch. I got drip. Let it out, man. I got Dom, drip, son. I got drip. I don't need swag. Yeah. I got throwing knives. Yeah, you're all rugged all the time, bro. Let loose, man. Dom, just shoulders Check up, out, shoulders bro. down, shoulders up, shoulders down, and just let him sag. Go up like this, yeah, bro. Dude, shoulders my up. dad, Dom, shoulders up. Now just drop them. Drop them. There you go. Wow, look at him now. Take off that oversized leather coat. And fucking... <laughs> Stop wearing it. Get ready to jump on my day. chopper. <laughs> no, that's like a Honda 250 or something you're riding with that coat. DW. Yeah. It's a Honda Ruckus. Hey, on, DW bro. is Arthur. DW, Arthur. This dude, Hank. Hank. DW was um, actually a, a dude, a boy voice that character. That's his name, DW. No, I think that was the the sister. Fucking no one wants to hear that shit. First of all, Dom, one more time, shoulders up, shoulders down, just drop him. Don't be such a square, Mister Dom. But cock your hat, cock your hat up like halfway up there. No, not back, like half up, like half on the one eyebrow, cross the other side. There you go. What? There you go. There, now we're talking. Sucks, Dude, a little bit Dude. Now, shoulders up, drop them hard. I drop them hard. There we go. No. Now just talk. All right, what's going on, Dom? You know, same old, same old. See? Rock and roll. Fucking square. This sucks. You suck. You're square. I look like a tool bag. <laughs> when does it better look like a tool bag? Tool bags are essential. <laughs> I mean... But essentially, you don't want to be prepared, so you wouldn't want to be a tool bag. Be prepared. What was that? Thanks again. Thanks again, V Cut Everything for the cigar. It's really good. I enjoyed it. Good cigar, man. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of GQ with JP, Tyler, and the All Ever Square Dom. Oh, do it. Do it. Do oh! it. Oh! Let's go. Drop you done did it. Now take the ash off and put it back on. Yeah. No, no. I'm going to end on a high note. <laughs> Do it. There you are. Swag, bitches. So you got to take it off, and as you suck on it and make a hot, you put it back on. Okay, now suck on it and put it back on. Insert it now. No, you got to put it on. No, oh, it drops it from like four feet up. <laughs> Shattered. Just stay up. Oh, ah. shoot. All right. This has been another episode of the one and only rebar. See you next week, suckers. Rock and roll. <laughs>